Finkel, and welcome to Angling Info. Hi guys, it's uh, Angling Info here at Messingham today for uh, a members match. Got a load of guys ready to uh, have a bit of a fun match and uh, hopefully catch some fish. We're going to start off with uh, what we're going to do, we're going to uh, film draw, everybody picking the pegs. Uh, once we're all on as pegs and everything's uh, sorted out, what we'll do then is a bit later on in the day go around and see what everybody's doing, uh, how everybody's fishing, how the pond's fishing, uh, basically what kind of day everybody's going to have. So, as we do, straight on with draw. Let's go, lads. Oak tree pond. Then we're on Oak tree pond. Right. I'm not going first, I'm not getting no, collared with that. Right, we'll let Paul go first then. <clears throat> 44. Flyer. Jonathan. Flying. <laughs> ben. We yeah, are MPEG, whatever. Bob Blair. I don't want to walk too far. Popty. Popty. Bottom end. Before they get in. Bottom end is fine. Popty two. Flyer. So just keep out of your tea. Forty two, cat loose. Your bottom end there, mate. Again. Eight, 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 uh, we have got Matt and uh, Will down on the double peg down bottom end. So I've got last one in the bag and I've drawn peg number two. Like Easiest work. Mix it both. That'll do. Put that all in, boys. That's it, mate, yeah? Join us today at Missingham Sands. Um, set up a few different lines today. Um, I've got probably about 10 metre line. I'm going to feed that with a uh, mixture of micros and uh, a, bit, a bit of pellet ground bait. I've got another line a bit shorter, which I'm, I'm fishing the same. An alternator bait between a uh, four mil hooker and uh, corn. And then later on, I'm going to fish down the edge to my left near that platform, about a metre away from it. And I'm going to fish that with corn and feed corn. Uh, and then I've got a maggot feeder, which is just over to the island. So let's give it a go and see. In early taps already. Got ten guys out today uh, in this members match, completely for fun, no uh, no money. It was a, a nice day out. Got a nice bit of weather today as well, so it's always a bonus. Well, we're now we're in half into the match. Um, I'm down on peg two, um, struggling quite a bit down there. So I thought I'd come round and uh, with camera and uh, I'm out now on peg 40 uh, with uh, Ben. Uh, how's it going, Ben? Steady, mate, to be fair. Um, just small silvers. It's, uh, it's all that's showing at this side, and I think there's a, some carp being caught down the side. Um, I think, I would say, I think Todd's got a few carp, which we'll go round and uh, see him shortly. Happy days. Well, what I'll do is I'll uh, have a wander around and I'll uh, call back and see how you're getting on shortly. Let's have a look at that one. Is that probably average that you're catching, Ben? So I've come round to Peg 44 now with uh, Paul Appleyard, one of his members. He's been kind enough this morning to uh, peg, our, um, peg the pond for us. He's given a couple of hints and tips to uh, members this morning. So uh, how was your day going up to now, Paul? It's all right. Plenty of, uh, plenty of skimmers to maggot. And just had that little mirror now, about two and a half pound on corn. You wait a bit longer for corn bites, but they're a better stamp of fish. Fishing on the 11, bottom, three pounds straight, three pound main line, to our 11 bottom, to an 18 hook. <coughs> a six number four shot, just to take it down nice and slow, all bulked up though. And if you keep, keep plugging away, a little bit of bait, but often, 
they gradually come on and at this time of year you're going to weed little fish out that way as well you just keep, it's just a matter of perseverance with them really you know so like I said, if you plug away you don't, don't, don't get disheartened on it because after all it's still cold and that water is still really cold you just keep plugging and plugging and plugging and just hit the same spot for your bait you know so you've got like a good bed down and they've got to come to that then rather than you go to them with it so here we are we've come round to peg 46 now to uh, see brad uh how's it going brad all right man i've just lost one probably foul up like but i've had one uh obviously caught on corn but i'm having to fish a boat just to get bait down to the bottom there's a lot of silver in water so how are you doing in match have you got quite a few in your in your bag uh, I've got a few silvers and put some four pound carfish. I'll have about five pounds to tell them. You're doing better than I am then. <laughs> I ain't had much yet. I'm hoping it'll pick up a bit this afternoon for me, yeah, like, but. I think the sun's trying to get out, so it should move up in water, which. Yeah, it should make it a bit better, shouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, right, well, I'll let you get on anyway and I'll, uh, yeah. I'll call back later, mate, so enjoy. Alright, the mate, cheers. So we've now just come down to Peg 48 to uh, see Todd. How's it going, mate? Yeah, not bad. I've had a, I've had a good start. I've uh, two count and two put-ins on me. Just mag it over, mag it, mag it over. Well, ground bait. Mag it over, ground bait. And uh, a tiny bit of them, and it went dead. I had a chuck out on. Just had a chuck out on bomb and sweet corn. And uh, add one, and then it's done. No liners, nothing. I've had a chuck with a pellet, a little pellet feeder. I didn't have any liners on that. I don't think there's necessarily a lot of fish about. I think it's just a case of if they're there, just trying picking them up. Yeah, so a bit of pot luck, really. Yeah, I've gone out to 30 meters with pellet on deck as well, and I just sniff out there. So I think most uh, people are struggling. I think you yeah, know. Yeah, I mean, I've had a look round. Obviously, I fish a short line. So I can watch other people as I can learn from their mistakes. I know that might sound a silly thing to say, but they might go out long and ignore fish that's in front of them rather than start off short. If they start catching long, I'll go long. Yeah. If they start catching on tip, I'll go on to tip. It's not necessarily an hardened way. Of, but there will be a certain way that catching. So you just gotta try and and look out for it. Yeah. Right, well, I'm going around and see how others are doing, mate. So, I hope it keeps going well for you and uh, I'll catch you, yeah. catch up with you in a bit. Cheers. So, we've come round to Peg 13 with uh, Will and Matt. How's it going, Will? Not bad. What have you had? Just a couple of silver Right, what are you fishing with? Maggot, pole. Yeah? Are you deep? Are you on top? Uh, deep. Yeah. So, do you think your dad could be doing well and could be winning match then? He's had a couple of, a couple of like skimmers. Yeah. And a couple of roach. So he's probably, probably got more than me in weight and size. Yeah. Um, and he's in again, look. Watch you land this one then, Will, and. Uh, So as people are aware on Angling Info, Will's actually one of our youngest, well he is the youngest member. And we see him a bit of a bit of our mascot really. He comes on most days with us. And uh, I, th I think it's safe to say you enjoy it, don't you Will? You enjoy coming with us all. Alright, let's uh, we'll turn around and uh, have a word with your dad, eh? And he'll keep it up. Like I say, at this rate he'll be winning. There we are. How are you going on, Matt? All right, just going to have a change of tactics. Um, not been managing to find any of the carp just yet. Uh, I've had a couple of skimmers. Um, but uh, yeah, it's been a little bit slow in comparison to Will. He seems to be bagging up at the moment on the silvers, which seems to be his, uh, his winning tactic for now. Uh, I'm just about to try a, uh, a pop-up. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll see how we get on with that. 
See if we can't find the carp off the bottom. Why not? I think, to be honest, everywhere around Pond struggling. I mean, you've got Todd down there, he's had quite a few out. Paul has, but they're not, there's no big showing really, so I think it's a case of finding them. So, but as you can see, Matt's on the uh, banjo pellet and uh, he's now uh, stuck a pop up on there. Yeah, fishing quite up, ne up next to Air Rater. It's out there, so a bit of luck. Oh, fish will start coming. So. I think it's time for a cup of coffee. My hands are starting to feel very, very cold. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. I'll catch up with you in a bit, Matt. Cheers. Here we are on peg six with Jonathan. Uh, it's a number of times now that we've met. Well, Jonathan's joined up with us here on Angling Info Members Days. How's it going this morning, Jonathan? Yeah, we've got a, the old skimmers, but can't seem to get out going. Just had a bit of a tip from down the bottom end. There's um, a guy who's sponsored by Browning. He stood talking to Matt and uh, Will. He's av uh, advising pop up, bright orange pop up, saying that's doing right well. So, might be worth giving that a bit of a try, like. Yeah, we're going to fetch some bread now because we're going to try and get a pop up bread by. We'll what method? Uh, I know the order match earlier, earlier on in the week and it won't. Popped up, popped up like yeah. So what methods have you tried this morning? Pole and feeder? I've had a couple of chips on, on a small, small method feeder line, but No luck? No, got it out. I've took gas in half an hour and had no signs at all, so... Right. I've just got on. Fishing, fishing out long and short, just... Yeah. Trying to get them, get them skimmers, like... Yeah. So I've fed a few lines. Pellets in a bit of luck it'll pick up light, but I think frost last night, a bit of keen frost, wasn't it really? So. That cold, it's, it's not the way. Right, well, I'll let you get back on with it and I'll uh, come back and see it weighing. Alright, uh, all right, pals. We've uh, come to Peg 5 to have a little chat with uh, Michael Yates who happened to, would be fishing another pond today, but decided to come and join us. Hit match, how's it going? <laughs> Not very well, to be honest with you. Just a few silvers, but hopefully try and get some carp a bit later on. Well, so I think we're all, to be really honest, I think everybody on pond struggling. Yeah. Um, Todd's had a fair few out and that, but I don't think there's much occurring with anybody at minute like, so. Silver skimmers, I reckon, today. Maybe so, yeah. Maybe on carp and like other lad over there, that's yeah. Wait, go on some fishing for you. It is. Well anyway, what I'll do, I'll catch up with you later on back with back at weigh in. Yep. So I'll catch up with you in a bit. Yeah, no problem. See you later. Just lift it off the back guys if you want off it. Couldn't get a fish. Yeah, these are still leaking. Ooh, drastically. Cold. Which is when they start leaking, mate, yeah. <laughs> Pound three, it's, uh, fifteen pound dead. Oh, 
Charlie hasn't done nets before, you see, so I can't come to do nets and it worked for you. Nice afternoon, Paul. Yeah, I've enjoyed my fishing, mate. As you do. Because yesterday, but hey, well, yeah, Jack Frost last night, weren't they? Yeah. Ninety what? <laughs> Eighteen pound two. That's all right. That's all right. Better than sums done. Murdered us today. Murdered us. How well done, mate. Any rats running about? No, man. No. What's happened to him? Twenty-two pound five. That minute, but you've got them all down. Yeah, it's done a great job on that light. You get a lot of them over there. And then you get a lot here, it's all the commitment. You can back here. Yeah. End of day, you can't help it, can you? No, I can't. It, 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 you, you know, it's, you're in the middle of nowhere. Then anglers leave food around. Food sauce, yeah, and then water. <laughs> it's it's so. looking one of them things, isn't it? £14. It's not, because it's great fun shooting them. No, you mate. It's great fun than fishing them, dog. Yeah, but I bet eight we got a pound. I've got thousands of silvers, just just little no skim way, all skimmers that with it. I reckon we'll be about eight pound. Looking at that. If that. Oh yeah, you got a pound. Hey. hey. <laughs> Two pound one. That'll do me. How you done, mate? Rubbish. Really. Yeah. It's been like North Sea down here, all day. Remind me of your name, I forget. Michael. Michael. We don't want to some beans coming out of here, what I look for. We're alright, because it's sat in that. Two pounds, seven. Uh, I had 90% of mine down middle. Uh, well, top, mine out there. Top four. Some corn pellets out there, like, you know what I mean? Top four, that's where I had everything on. How much did you have? 15 pounds, bang on. Sat third at the moment. Rants annihilated us all. 44, 12. Three pound ten. Three pound ten. What do you reckon? 16, 16, 10. What do you reckon? Yeah, 16 pound. Oh, there's your net. Thank you. Thank you. Eleven, twelve. Ah, that's a lot less than I thought. Yeah, me too. Oh, 
Well done, Will. Yeah, well done, mate. Yeah. Not bad at all in this weather, mate. Yeah. You're fourth at the moment out of ten. <laughs> as long as you beat your dad, Will, it doesn't matter, does it? Right, quite a few there, but well under five. So. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, well under five. <laughs> Shame we're one pound summit. <laughs> well, well. well done, buddy. Good net, that. Top four. That box is nice, mate. Yeah, I'm pleased with it. Over. Like the uh, like grey colour to it. Yeah. It's nice, isn't it? Three pound eleven. You've just, you haven't just beat your dad. What you've done is massacred him. Well, if you found him wise with that little ghosty, you'd have beat him all. Yeah. It's yeah. nice, though, isn't it? Beautiful yeah, little fish. You don't see many like that. Yeah. It's lovely, like that, isn't it? Beauty. You know what you need to do is accidentally leave him at home. <laughs> <laughs> Wait until he gets older, he's going to be annihilating you. I say, you'll struggle to leave him at home, you drive him, don't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, bet, I bet he has to swap next, did he? <laughs> well, so we've had us weigh in, and uh, Brad basically showing, showing us all the way. That's it. Uh, Will, doing well. What did you get, Will? £11. Pounds. £11, pound, all on his own. Beat me, his dad. He smashed his Andy. dad. <laughs> all put together. How many? What did you get, Andy? <laughs> <laughs> And tab, tab end. So I would just like to really say thanks to all the guys at Messingham Sands who've been helped us out today. Big thanks to Paul uh, Appleyard for his support today and as I mentioned earlier on pegging it all out for us and stuff. So yeah, I hope we're, we're going to run a, a members day every month if we can, as tight as we can. Um, Psych House is the next one that we're we're looking at doing that's a consensus a little bit that's chose that, chose that for so us. that looks like the next venue um I, whether it'll be a match without nets if we can get nets in we will do and everybody again thanks for subscribing and and look at watching us on the facebook group it's getting massive now speaking of subscribing um during about time of this video that's published um we'll be announcing you know, a competition so get your pictures in yeah so yeah obviously uh, we're, we're getting a, a, a random person to, to draw it. We we'll draw next week, so that'll be some Champions Choice bait, some uh, floats, and uh, a, a shirt. So that'll be completely chosen at random. And uh, tight lines. Tight lines. Tight lines.